Hey everybody, Sam back once again. Yes, I am back with another Galaxy S6 Edge video. It's for the, This is the same for the Galaxy S6 as well. I just personally chose the Edge because I like the edges on the screen. And what we're going to show you in this video is show you how to set up the fingerprint scanner. So this is a very, very straightforward kind of video. I did one at MWC. But I'm going to do one more in a controlled environment so you can hear me a bit better. It looks a little nicer. So, yeah, we're going to go from here. So, pull down your notification uh, chair at the top. Go into your settings. Go to the top if you're not already there. Click on lock screen and security. Now, here, you can see there you've got security, fingerprints. Seems pretty straightforward so far. So, click on fingerprints. And at this point, you can add your fingerprint. So, I'm actually going to add my thumbprint. So, click confirm on there. And as you can see here, what it's telling you to do, if it wants to focus for me, it tells you to place your finger on the home key, lift it off, and then repeat. Move the finger upwards and downwards slightly in between attempts, because what it's doing is it's registering different parts of your thumb. So here, what I'm going to do is go boom. And as you can see there, as we're going through it, do it a little bit further down. And all you need to do is keep moving it around. You may get the odd one where it says, no, I'm not too sure what you did there. So just keep putting it on and putting it off. And as you can see here, it is very, very straightforward. If you've ever used a Touch ID from Apple, then you're probably thinking, this looks awfully familiar. To be completely honest with you, yes. But the way I look at it is that if it's a good feature, um, then I don't mind people copying, um, using it as inspiration, whatever you might want to call it. So at this point, you can see there it says, please take, please place the tip of the same finger on the home key then lift it off adding the thumb uh, if adding the thumbprint it refer to the guide image so as you can see it wants you to go sideways so I'll click continue so at this point you want to kind of go in a little bit of an angle and the reason why it's doing this is so it reads every part of your thumb itself so at this point we're at 100% and it's going well hey we are complete now, what it's going to ask you to do is actually put a password in there. You can put a PIN number in for some reason. It asks you for a like an actual password. Now, let's say your, your thumb or your finger got cut off <laughs> or you lost an hand, a hand or something and you couldn't get into the phone. The only other way to get into it is going to be via the password. So you're going to want to put a password in there. So I'm just going to add my password into it now. So I've added my password in there. So I need to click continue. It asks you to confirm your backup password because if you put it in wrong and you don't know where it is, you're going to be snookered. So stick it in again now. So I've stuck mine in there. So click OK. And it wants to, you want to enable the fingerprint on the lock screen. Well, I want to click OK at this point. And actually, now it's actually my fingerprint is now for the lock screen. So if I turn the screen off and then turn it back on. You can't just swipe into the device, as you can tell in there, it's wanting your fingerprint. So to get into the phone, just tap your thumb on there, or your finger, whatever you've used, and woohoo, Bob's your uncle. Now, a good thing about this is you can actually add more than one fingerprint. So to actually get back into it, you need to add your fingerprint again, and you can add more than one, so you can add your, your thumb, your finger, your pinky, your big toe, whatever, whatever you want to add on there, and as long as it reads it, then you're good to go. But that's pretty much it. That is how you set up the fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the one I'm using, the Galaxy S6 Edge. Hmm. But anyway, people, if you've got any questions you know what to do by now, you can hit me up down below. Don't forget to hit the like button because it is very much appreciated. And go on, if you're new, hit subscribe because you know it by now, it's free. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.